Now, the trial over the scandal at the George Washington Bridge, and one of the defendants accused in the 2013 lane closures in Fort Lee took the stand today. CBS 2's Meg Baker reports from the federal courthouse in Newark. It doesn't happen often, a defendant taking the witness stand. Mr. Baroni, are you feeling positive after your first day of testifying? Bill Baroni, the former Port Authority deputy executive appointed by Governor Christie, told his side of things. He's sticking with the traffic study story. Baroni says he truly believed a study of the lanes was being conducted and says David Wildstein played him. But Democratic State Senator Loretta Weinberg, who lives in Bergen County, still isn't buying it. Anybody who knows the area knows that those roads were never set aside just for Fort Lee residents. So it wasn't even a really good cover up. A possible cover up of political retribution during Christie's re election campaign. Wildstein previously testified that in these pictures at a 9 11 event in 2013, he and Baroni joked about traffic in Fort Lee to Governor Christie. Baroni completely denies this, saying they spoke of a traffic study which could help the governor look like he solved backups at the GWB. No mention of punishment or endorsements involving the Democratic mayor of Fort Lee. Evidence used against Baroni, phone calls, emails, texts from Fort Lee Mayor Sokolich citing public safety issues. Baroni testified that not returning those calls is his biggest regret. It's the first thing I think of in the morning and the last thing when I go to bed. I listened to David Wildstein. He told me if I called him back, I'd wimp out, give in, and stop and ruin the study, which was very important. In terms of ranking, Baroni says Wildstein was below him on the flow chart, but Wildstein reported directly to Trenton, saying it was clear he was implementing specific issues that the governor wanted. So how are the two co-defendants related? Bill Baroni says prior to this trial, they had only met at once. They had had one phone call where Baroni asked Kelly what to wear to an event, and they had never had a conversation about lane closures. And so far, there has not been any evidence that shows otherwise. At federal court in Newark, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. Bill Baroni also testified that Governor Christie told him to hire David Wildstein under the made up title of Director of Interstate Capital Projects.